YFM morning host DJ Spoo on Monday called on his listeners to march in protest of the xenophobic attacks gripping the Greater Gauteng area. This follows as the attacks intensified at the weekend and images like this one caused a stir across the nation. We, we can debate, we can argue, we can engage each other, we can challenge one another, the government or whatever, but just like the killings I know. No. That's the, the killings, my brother. That's what, what, what do you feel is, is, is fueling the sort of violence in our townships? I think, you know, just like everybody else is concerned, is people are just thinking it's a third force. You know? I mean, I don't know. I don't even want to tell you. I'm not a politician. I'm just a radio jock who's an entertainer, but who's a young South African who's concerned. You know, I'm a youngster that is concerned. And I feel all these people that are here, they're all young people. And I think it's about time that, you know, we... We, we show the government, we show the elderly, we show people that, you know what, like, we're not just going to sit and be hailed as the generation that sat and watched as our country got tarnished, you know. Addressing the large crowd, Spoo called on his listeners to peacefully march through the streets of Watville on the East Rand. Over 300 protesters took to the streets, holding up their cardboard placards with messages like Stop Killing Our Brothers and No to Xenophobia. High-profile figures also did their bit, marching alongside the youth in solidarity. Uh, we're just here to, to support the community in Biloni, uh, especially in Whiteville, about the situation of xenophobia. We're just sending out the message of, you know, to, to the communities and say, guys, stop killing each other. Let's be united, let's focus, let's do the right thing for, for our society, you know. Yeah, that's basically that. It's painful to actually see what has happened over the past week and we are appealing to the nation that people must stop, you know, being criminals and doing criminal acts. Um, we've got our black uh, brothers and sisters who are living in this country as foreigners. As South Africa has mainly been taken as a liberated country which can actually live other countries. So we are just concerned um, residents who are in support people who are actually practicing this inhuman behavior. When I heard about it last night and I, and I saw the newspaper headline this morning, I knew that something had to be done. I just didn't know exactly what and I was hoping that the leadership of this country would emerge and do something about it, but nothing was said as usual. And, and I think that it was a great thing that the youth of this country got together and decided that they were going to do something, which is kind of reminiscent of, you know, 30, 40 years ago when, when our current leaders were themselves the youth of this country and they decided that something needed to be done about their situation. We're saying right now that something needs to be done about the situation in our country with the lawlessness, with the, with the, with the crime and, and with the killing of, of people just because they're from another country and they speak a different language. We're saying we do not condone that, we condemn it in the strongest terms.